now, as you will note in your program, SEMA President Jessa Bartley Matthews will offer some remarks on behalf of the master's students. <laughs> don't know what to do with all these cords. <laughs> um, so growing up, I had a love affair with the US Postal Service. One of my favorite things that was ever delivered to our house was a box addressed to my father from a former student. My father is an artist who taught ceramics at my high school. And inside the box was a lumpy, lopsided bowl with long, spindly legs that curled at the bottoms. It was really, really ugly. Inside the bowl was a scrap of paper that said, simply, this is all your fault. He laughed, and we put the pot in a place of honor on the mantle. It's strange how often I think about this note. Over the years, I've come to realize how loving it is in spite of how accusatory it sounds. My father taught this student a skill and encouraged him to push himself to make sculptures that went beyond perfect symmetry. He encouraged him to be an artist, to extend himself beyond the status quo. The note was both a thank you and a challenge, all wrapped up in one. Coming to the School of Information, I had no idea how many different people I would meet. Over these past two years, I've been lucky to get to know all of you with your many different aspirations, from future librarians and archivists to data scientists and designers. We've spent hours together in the Graduate Lounge, some of us a bit more than others, Tim, uh, sharing stories and ideas, and helping each other through tough assignments. We've gone to football games together, we've learned the Michigan song, we've offered each other rides to the grocery store, and we've endured two long, cold Michigan winters, or more if you're a PhD student. We're graduating in a moment where data dominates headlines, where the major news of our time is about who controls the flow of information and how that information is presented to the world. It's a moment where access to information is absolutely crucial and where the people with the data often seem to hold the power. Information can be as complex as a custom Netflix recommendation system or as simple as a handwritten note, but it needs skilled researchers to assess the needs of different populations and skilled designers to ensure that the systems we use on a daily basis are usable and accessible for all. It needs data scientists to make sense of it and archivists to catalog it for future generations. It needs librarians to ensure free and open access and to create innovative programs to educate and enhance people's lives. We could have all gone through the motions and achieved the status quo, but instead we've encouraged each other to do better, to ask difficult questions and address important issues, to consider the social implications of our work. Our MHI students are leveraging information to design technologies and interfaces that enhance a patient's medical experience and help people better understand their conditions. Our MSI students are designing both high and, tech low, sorry, high and low tech solutions to everyday problems, from virtual reality and games to chat apps. They're reimagining public libraries and makerspaces to meet community needs. This January alone, UMSI's archivists organized a data rescue event, preserving more than 1.5 terabytes of climate change related data, or sorry, government data on international servers. Our PhD students are pushing into new territory, researching everything from how people interact on social networks to the human interactions that go into large scale digitization of analog materials. Our work as information professionals extends around the world and comes with an enormous amount of responsibility. Every one of us has the skills and potential to be an important part of this future, though it's up to us to use them responsibly. We've made each other more interesting, better people. These past few years, we've exposed each other to new ways of seeing the world, and we've challenged each other to think beyond our own perspectives. We've grown as professionals and as people, and I'd like to think that our work is better for it. Now, it's up to us to continue to learn and push each other to design and innovate for the future. Class of 2017, this is all your fault. Um, now let's get out there and shake things up. Thank you.